Okay, I want to give an example of how to graph an inequality. Um, the first thing to do with the inequality is to solve it for y. So basically, hopefully you notice that the first thing you do is subtract 3x from both sides. So then I'm going to rewrite it. Minus 2y is less than or equal to, and I'm going to write the minus 3x first because I like to write the x term before the constant term. One more step in solving, I've got to divide by negative 2. Do you remember the tricky thing about dividing by a negative when you're working with inequalities? I'm sure you remember. You have to switch that symbol, right? Greater than or equal to. Now, this becomes positive 3 halves x minus 4. And then to graph, I'm graphing an inequality, but the first thing I want to do is graph where is the line y equals 3 halves x minus 4. Well, the y-intercept is minus 4, so y-intercept is minus 4, so I'm going to graph on the y-axis, there's the y-axis, minus 4. Put a dot there, that's my starting point. And then the slope is 3 over 2, well that's easy, that's rise over run from this point, so a rise of 3, 1, 2, 3, a run of 2, 1, 2 puts me there. Let's do one more. One, two, three, one, two. All right, so now I have enough points to get the line. Do you know what I do next? Okay, I hope you said draw the line. Now, how do I know when I draw this line whether I do a solid line or a dashed line? Here's the clue right here. If the inequality is greater than and it also has an equal bar or less than it has an equal bar. The equal bar means I have a solid line as opposed to a dashed line. So boom, I've got a solid line as part of my graph. Now I have to do some shading on this. Y is greater than. So do you think greater than is above the line or below the line? I hope you said above the line. Yeah, so I'm going to do shading and Basically, you just do shading like this on one side or the other. And I have a solid line. You will have some of these graphs where the line is dashed. And again, you shade above or below. Now, I'm going to do another example of two inequalities on the same number line. So let me take a second to clean my graph. Okay, here's a case where I have three inequalities, and I want to graph all three of them on the same coordinate and I want to shade the appropriate sections and then show the overlap, all right? So, <clears throat> doing this first one, before I graph this, I want to solve it for y, so I'm going to rewrite it. y is less than x plus 6. I added x to both sides. All right, so now, looking at this, I know that the y-intercept, do you know what it is? 6, that's my starting point, and what's the slope? 1, which is 1 over 1. So, let's, let's graph this line first. Y-intercept is 6. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. And then the slope is up 1 over 1, up 1 over 1. All right, now, if I draw that line, do I draw a solid line or a dashed line? How do you know? I hope you said dashed, so let's get a dashed line in there. A little bit tricky, but we'll do the best that we can here. All right, dashed line. All right, now, <clears throat> if I'm shading, I would shade all of what's below this line. When I'm putting three lines on the same grid, it's best to write the equation on the line. So I'm going to write y is less than x plus 6, right on the edge of that line. So I know which is which when I'm looking at it. And I want to shade below this, but I'm not going to shade the whole thing yet because I want to get these other graphs in there first. So there's the first line. Ooh, how do I graph this one? Well, x is less than 2. Let's pretend x equals 2. And I'm going to make a little xy chart for this one because I forget whether this is a horizontal or a vertical sometimes. And if you do, what you can do is you can put x is 2. That means x is always 2. Put that in the x column. You can put anything you want in the y column because there's no y in the equation. So 0, 1, 2. All right, let's
let's plot those points. 2, 0. Over 2, up 0. Over 2, up 1. Over 2, up 2. Okay. Now I need to draw that line. And should it be a solid line or a dashed line? Dashed line, because there's no equal bar. All right. So I'm going to do a dashed line again right through that point. All right, dashed point. And again, I want to write my equation on the line. So this is x less than 2. Now, x less than 2 means I'm going to shade that side of the line. All right? So I have this first one I'm shading below. This one I'm shading this side. So, so far, the overlap of the shading would be right in here. But I have one more graph to do. Oh, before I graph this one, I want to solve it for y. So y is greater than or equal to minus x minus 3. All right, let's do this one. What's the y-intercept? I always do that first. Y-intercept, negative 3, and the slope, negative 1. Let's make it 1 over 1. Okay, so start with the y-intercept, negative 3 on the y-axis. This is my y-axis here. So... One, two, three, in the negative direction. There's my starting point. And then the slope is negative one, one. So the rise of negative one, that means down one and over in the positive direction. Down one over in the positive direction. Down one over in the positive direction for the positive one. Now, when I draw that line, solid or dashed? What do you think? Solid or dashed? I hope you said solid. That equal bar means that line is solid. So, solid line for that one. And again, because I got three lines on the same graph, I'm going to put the equation on the line. Y greater than or equal to minus x minus 3. Now, on this one, if I'm shading greater than, where am I going to shade, above or below? Above. Okay. So, above this line, so basically below this line and to the left of this line means the shading is all in the triangle in between there, okay? What you can do if you have colors is you could shade all of this one color, all of this another color, and all of this a third, and then the, the darkest overlap would show um, the final answer. So the final answer... Um, is that triangle in the middle. So you'll have to do a few of these for homework. Good luck. I think you can do